Our World. Students Book 4. Copyright 2020. National Geographic Learning. A part of Sengage Learning. All rights reserved. Unit 1. Track 1.1. Vocabulary 1. Activity 1. Listen and read. Does your family like big parties? Do your relatives come from near and far to celebrate? Then it's a type of party called a family reunion. Families are all different. Some are big and some are small. Family pets are different too. Some pets are cuter than others. Some pets are uglier than others. But their families still love them. What makes the best pet for a family? One that's cleverer or one that's friendlier? Bigger, smaller, older, younger, taller, shorter, faster, slower, stronger. Track 1.2 Activity 2. Listen and repeat. Relatives. I've got so many relatives. We are a very big family. Different. They're sisters, but they look different. Cuter. Which is cuter? A panda or a rabbit? Uglier. Which is uglier? A crocodile or a hippo? Cleverer. I feel cleverer today than I did yesterday. Friendlier. You need to be friendlier. Smile more. Bigger. My cousin Anna is bigger than me. Smaller. My brother is smaller than me. He's only three. Older. My mum is older than me. Younger. I'm younger than my mum. Taller. I'm taller than Eduardo. Shorter. My brother is shorter than my sister. Faster. Maria is faster than Juan. Slower. Hopping is slower than running. Stronger. Anna is stronger than me too. Track 1.3 Song Activity 1 Listen, read and sing. I'm taller than you than me We're all different Yes, we're different And I like being me My dad is shorter than your dad Your brother's taller than mine My sister is older than yours Younger than mine Yes, she is <laughs> I'm taller than you He's taller 
Track 1.4 Grammar 1 Comparatives with ER My best friend is bigger than I am. I'm shorter than him too. My dog is friendlier than my sister's cat. My dog is also cuter than her cat. Track 1.5 Vocabulary 2 Activity 1 Listen and repeat Glasses Pedro started wearing glasses this year. Wavy hair Enrique has got brown wavy hair. Blonde hair Sarah's got blonde hair, and it's very long. Straight hair. Jacob's got straight hair. Curly hair. You've got very curly hair. Track 1.6 Activity 2 Listen and Stick Work with a partner. Talk about you. Number one. My cousin Marco has got curly brown hair. He wears glasses. Number two. My brother Lee has got short, straight hair. He wears glasses too. Number three. My sister Anna has got long, wavy black hair, and she wears glasses too. Number four. My cousin Martin doesn't wear glasses. He's got curly brown hair. Number five. My cousin Abby has got straight blonde hair. She wears glasses. Track 1.7 Grammar 2. Present continuous for future plans. What are you doing on Saturday? I'm going to my family reunion. What are they doing at 7? They're having dinner with their neighbours. Track 1.8. Reading. Activity 1. Listen and read. Where do your eyes come from? The colour of our eyes and our hair are family traits. How tall we are, how big or small we are, and the shape of our face are all family traits. We say that we inherit these traits from our parents. Look around you. Many people have got the same eye colour or hair colour, but they all look different. 
It's the special combination of all of these common traits that makes you different from everyone else. No other person has got exactly the same combination of traits as you. Are your earlobes attached to the side of your face? Or do they hang free? This is also an inherited trait. How do you fold your hands? Do you cross your right thumb over your left thumb? Or do you cross your left thumb over your right thumb? It's fun to look for these traits with your family and friends. Try it. Unit 2 Track 2.1 Vocabulary 1 Activity 1 Listen and read Every week, people go to the supermarket to buy vegetables, like green beans and cucumbers, that come from big farms. Some supermarkets also sell fruit and vegetables from small, local farms. But most people think food from the garden is fresher and tastes better than food from a supermarket. Some lucky people have got space to grow food in their own gardens. For example, they grow carrots, onions and cabbages. Many other people haven't got space at home, but sometimes they work together to grow food in a community garden. It's easier than you think to grow vegetables. First, you dig. Then you plant the seeds. But remember to water the plants. And you have to weed the garden sometimes. When the vegetables are ripe, they're ready to pick. Dig, plant, water, weed, pick, a pumpkin, lettuce, a cucumber, a cabbage, chilies, an onion, an aubergine, green beans, a courgette. Track 2.2 .2. Activity 2 Listen and repeat Dig Dig the rocks out of the soil Plant Plant the seeds in a row Water Water the plants well Weed Weed the garden once a week Pick Only pick the fruit and vegetables that are ready Grow I like growing vegetables Ripe Wait until the vegetables are ripe. Ready. Are you ready to water the plants? A pumpkin. Pumpkins can grow really big. Lettuce. Lettuce is a green vegetable. A cucumber. Cucumber is good in salad too. Cabbage. Cabbage is delicious in soup. Chilies. Chilies make a good spicy sauce. An onion. Onions can be white, yellow, red or green. An aubergine. 
aubergines can be purple or white on the outside. Green beans Green beans are, surprise, green. A courgette Courgettes can be green or yellow. Track 2.3 Song Activity 1 Listen, read and sing. Pumpkin, lettuce, chilies and beans. Something's growing and it's green. Pumpkin, lettuce, chilies and beans. Something's growing and it's green. Working in the garden. Working in the sun. Working in the garden. Of the garden, I have to weed and dig. I look after my garden, those weeds grow very big. Pumpkin, lettuce, chilies, and beans. Something's growing and it's green. Pumpkin, lettuce, chilies, and beans. Something's growing and it's green. We can pick cabbage in the garden. We can pick some green beans too. We can plant carrots in the garden. I like gardening, don't you? Working in the garden. Working in the sun. Working in the garden is a lot of fun. Working in the garden. Working in the sun, working in the garden, is a lot of fun. Pumpkin, lettuce, chilies and beans, something's growing and it's green. Pumpkin, lettuce, chilies and beans, something's growing and it's green. Track 2.4 Grammar 1 Have to I have to water the vegetables every day. I don't have to buy any more seeds. She has to plant the tomatoes in a sunny place. She doesn't have to weed today. Track 2.5 Vocabulary 2 Activity 1 Listen and say how often? How often do you eat fruit? Every day. I eat fruit every day. On. On Fridays, I have to go to the market with my mother. Once. We take vegetables to our neighbour once a month. Twice. My dad has to plant new seeds twice a year. Three times. We weed the garden three times a week. Track 2.6. Grammar 2. Would like. What would you like for lunch? I'd like a bowl of vegetable soup. Track 2.7 Reading Activity 1 Listen and read The farms of the future are here. How much space do you need to grow 10,000 heads of lettuce a day? Not that much, surprisingly. On an indoor farm in Miyagi, Japan, farmers grow that much lettuce every day. They grow it in a building smaller than half a football field. On this farm, 
farmers grow lettuce on shelves. The shelves can be up to 15 levels high. Special LED lights help the lettuce grow faster. In fact, the lettuce is ready to pick even sooner than on an outdoor farm. Another big advantage is that indoor farms don't use as much water as outdoor farms. On outdoor lettuce farms, there's usually a lot of food waste. Some plants are damaged or don't look good, so farmers can't sell them. Sometimes, farmers have to throw away more than 30% of the lettuce they grow. On this indoor farm, they throw away less than 3% of the lettuce they grow. Unit 3. Track 3.1. Vocabulary 1. Activity 1. Listen and read. How did people spend time long ago? Their life was different from ours. A long time ago, most people had to begin their day when the sun came up. There were no electric lights, so they had to do their housework or chores during the daylight. Many children didn't go to school. They stayed at home to learn with their parents. Mothers taught their daughters to cook, wash the dishes, make soap and sew clothes. Fathers taught their sons to make useful things for the house or garden or to sell at the market in town. A long time ago, families used candles or sat by the fire in the evening. They liked to play games, sing songs or tell stories. Some children had dolls or other toys to play with. Now children still play with dolls and other toys, but instead of sitting by the fire to play with their toys, children and their families can do many different things. They can watch TV, use their mobile phones and play computer games. There are a lot of other free time activities to choose from too. Track 3.2 Activity 2 Listen and repeat. Spend time. I like spending time with my grandparents. Life. A long time ago, life was very different. Begin. It's time to begin your homework. Electric lights. Electric lights make life easier. Housework I do my housework in the morning. Learn Do you want to learn how to play chess? Wash My brother washes the dishes three times a week. Make I make my bed in the morning. So. My grandmother is teaching me how to sew. Things. Put your things away, please. Town. My grandparents live in a small town. Fire. A long time ago, people cooked their food over fire. Tell Grandpa, tell me a story. Mobile phone Mobile phones make communication easier. Computer game Can I play your new computer game?
Track 3.3 Song Activity 1 Listen, read and sing. Things were different a long time ago Different in so many ways Things were different a long time ago Different from today A long time ago children walked to school But today I ride my bike A long time ago we learned to sew our own clothes But now we buy the clothes we like Things were different a long time ago Different in so many ways Things were different a long time ago Different from today We used to read by candlelight Now we use electric light We used to talk only face to face Now we use a mobile phone to talk to someone in a different place Things were different a long time ago Different in so many ways Things were different a long time ago Different from today People spent time with friends by the fire Now we play computer games instead But a friend is still a friend until the end Some things will never change Things were different a long time ago Different in so many ways Things were different a long time ago Different from today Things were different a long time ago Different in so many ways Things were different a long time ago Different from today Track 3.4 Grammar 1 Contrast with but and instead A long time ago, children walked to school But today, many children ride their bikes Many years ago People didn't have TV. They told stories instead. Track 3.5 Vocabulary 2 Activity 1 Listen and say Modern A long time ago, life was slow. Modern life is fast. Difficult. This maths problem is really difficult. Expensive. That computer game is very expensive. Old fashioned. I don't like that dress. It's old fashioned. Important. It's important to do your homework. Track 3.6 Grammar 2 Comparatives with more plus adjective Life was more difficult back then. That mobile phone is more expensive than this one. Track 3.7 Reading Activity 1 Listen and read The world in the palm of your hand One of the first telephones was the candlestick. It had a mouthpiece attached to the top of a stand and a separate speaker that the user of the phone held next to their ear. The rotary telephone came next. It had the mouthpiece and speaker combined in one handset. People dialed the number by spinning the rotary dial on the front of the phone. Later, 
people used a new kind of phone that had buttons instead of a rotary dial. It was much easier and faster to dial numbers. The next development was the portable or mobile phone. The first mobile phone was about the same size as a brick. It was almost as heavy as a brick as well. It weighed over one kilogram, about two pounds. The battery only lasted about 30 minutes and took 10 hours to charge. The next kind of mobile phone was called the flip phone. Flip phones were very small and light. The batteries also lasted all day and charged quickly. The smartphone came next. Instead of a tiny screen and tiny buttons, it had a large touchscreen, so you could control it with just your finger. Smartphones became very popular. Now almost everyone has got one. Track 3.8 Review Units 1 to 3 Activity 1 Listen How did this family live? Listen and draw lines from column A to B. When I was a child, things were very different from today. Really? How were they different? Well, we began every day at 5 a.m. and we had to work very hard. We were a big family, so there was a lot to do. Now we've got electric lights, microwaves and dishwashers to help us. But in those days, it was much more difficult. I can imagine. My dad went to work every day. He worked long hours. Then, at the weekend, he worked in the garden. He grew vegetables for the family. Really? What about the women in the family? Well, my mum washed the clothes once a week. My sisters helped her because it took a long time. And your grandmother? What did she do? My grandma often sewed new clothes for us. What about you? Did you have to do any housework? Yes, I did. I made the fire twice a day, once in the morning and again in the evening after school. We didn't have electric lights then, you see. I often helped to weed the garden, too. Wow! So, was it all work and no play? No, everyone spent time together in the evenings. We sat around the fire, and sometimes my grandpa told funny stories. They were great. Track 3.9 Activity 2 Listen again. How often did the family members do each activity? Draw lines from column B to C. When I was a child, things were very different from today. Really? How were they different? Well, we began every day at 5 a.m. and we had to work very hard. We were a big family, so there was a lot to do. Now we've got electric lights, microwaves and dishwashers to help us. But in those days, it was much more difficult. I can imagine. My dad went to work every day. He worked long hours. Then, 
At the weekend, he worked in the garden. He grew vegetables for the family. Really? What about the women in the family? Well, my mum washed the clothes once a week. My sisters helped her because it took a long time. And your grandmother? What did she do? My grandma often sewed new clothes for us. What about you? Did you have to do any housework? Yes, I did. I made the fire twice a day, once in the morning and again in the evening after school. We didn't have electric lights then, you see. I often helped to weed the garden, too. Wow! So, was it all work and no play? No, everyone spent time together in the evenings. We sat round the fire, and sometimes my grandpa told funny stories. They were great. Track 3.10 Extended Reading Activity 1 Listen and Read Giant's Causeway Hey, you! I don't like you. Come and fight me. Finn McCool looked across the sea. It was Ben and Donna. No one fights me. I'm very strong. Finn shouted back. The two giants were not friends. Finn McCool lived in Ireland. Ben and Donna lived across the water in Scotland. Every day they argued. I'm stronger than you, said Ben and Donna. I'm braver, too. Finn McCool wanted to fight. He had an idea. He picked up huge rocks and threw them into the water. He made a path or causeway over the water and began to walk across. Finn's wife, Una, saw him. She was worried. Soon Finn was worried too. Close up, he saw that Ben and Donna was much, much bigger than him. Finn didn't want to fight now. He turned and ran home. Finn ran into his house. Help! he said. Ben and Donna is coming! Don't worry! said Una. Look! In the bedroom, there was an enormous baby's bed. Get in, said Una. She put a blanket over Finn and a baby's hat on his head. <coughs> Went the door. Una opened it. Where is your husband? Ben and Donna roared. Una smiled. He isn't here. Come in and wait. Inside, Ben and Donna looked for Finn. Come and see our baby son, Una said. He's so cute. Ben and Donna looked at the baby's bed. Wah! Wah! cried the baby, very loudly. Ben and Donna stopped in surprise. Finn's baby was enormous. So how big was Finn? Scared, Ben and Donna ran out of the house and across the causeway to Scotland, never to return. Track 3.11 Let's Talk Units 1 to 3 Activity 1 Listen and Read Hello, Mrs Gomez. How are you? I'm very well, thank you, Sophia. Please come in. Thank you. Hi, Carla. What's up? Not much. Would you like a drink? Yes, please. Thanks. 
Track 3.12 Activity 3 Listen and read. What do you think about making a poster? I think that's a great idea. I agree. Posters are fun. Really? I disagree. Everybody makes posters. I think so too. Track 3.13 Activity 4 Listen. You will hear two discussions. Read each question and circle the answer. Number 1 Let's do a survey. What do you think? Yeah, that's cool. I agree. Surveys are interesting. Really? I don't think so. Surveys take too long. Number two. What do you think about writing a report? No, we did a report last time. I agree. I don't want to do a report. Well, what should we do? Unit 4, Track 4.1 Vocabulary 1 Activity 1 Listen and read Germs aren't the only things that can make you feel ill. You may get an earache, a headache, a stomach ache or a toothache. It's a good idea to have a first aid kit at home. A first aid kit is a good place to keep a thermometer. So, if you've got a temperature, you know where to find it. It's also a good place to keep bandages, medicine and plasters. A stomachache A headache A toothache An earache A germ a thermometer. Have a temperature. Cough. Have a cold. Feel dizzy. A tissue. Sneeze. A cast. Medicine. A bandage. A first aid kit. Track 4.2 Activity 2. Listen and repeat. A stomach ache. Alex has got a stomach ache. She feels sick. A headache. My daughter has got a headache again. A toothache. Lee went to the dentist because he had a toothache. An earache. Pablo has got an earache. It hurts a lot. A germ. There are lots of germs in the classroom. A thermometer. Put this thermometer in your mouth. Have a temperature. Do you feel hot? I think you've got a temperature. Cough. Don't cough on everyone. Have a cold. My brother's got a cold. Feel dizzy. I feel really dizzy. I need to sit down. A tissue. Have you got any tissues, Dad? Sneeze. I sneeze when I've got a cold. A cast. Lynn has got a cast on his arm. Medicine. The doctor gave Ming some medicine for his cold. A bandage. 
Let's put a bandage on your foot. A first aid kit. Quick, where's the first aid kit? Track 4.3 Song Activity 1 Listen, read and sing. Look after yourself You know what to do Do a lot of exercise And eat the right food But once in a while When you don't feel well Here are some things That you should do Stomach ache, you should tell your mother. If you got a broken arm, you should see the doctor. If you got a toothache, you shouldn't eat sweets. Go to the dentist and stay away from treats. treats. Look after yourself. You know what to do. Do a lot of exercise. yourself when climbing a tree a first aid kit will help you to take care of your knee if you've got a headache you can stay in bed or you can take some medicine to help your aching head look after yourself you know what to do do a lot of exercise Track 4.4 Grammar 1 Advice with should I've got a bad toothache. What should I do? You shouldn't wait any longer. Your parents should take you to the dentist. Track 4.5 Vocabulary 2 Activity 1. Listen and repeat. A burn. How did Andrea get a burn on her finger? A broken leg. Lucia has got a broken leg. A scratch. Look at this scratch. I fell off my bike. A bruise. Felipe fell over and has got a bruise on his leg. A cut. Maria has got a cut on her finger. Track 4.6. Activity 2. Listen. Work with a partner. Talk and stick. Last week, my family had a terrible time. On Monday, my little brother got a cut on his finger. Then, on Tuesday, my sister fell off her bike. She's got a big bruise on her leg. On Wednesday afternoon, Mum got a big scratch on her hand from the cat. Then, on Thursday, my dad touched the cooker. You should see his burn. But Friday was the worst. I fell off my bike and now I've got a broken leg. Track 4.7 Grammar 2 Reflexive Pronouns A cut 
to cut, a burn, to burn. Ouch! I cut myself. Be careful! Don't hurt yourself. My brother burnt himself on the cooker. He shouldn't cook by himself. Look at that bandage. Did she hurt herself? Track four point eight. Activity two. Play a game. Cut out the cards at the back of the book. Listen. Glue the cards. Number one. He shouldn't touch the cooker. He could burn himself. Number two. She shouldn't run with scissors. She could cut herself. Number three. If you scratch yourself, put a plaster on the scratch. Number four. You shouldn't scratch yourself. Stop it. Number five. You shouldn't go out at night by yourself. Number six. I should look after myself. I should eat more vegetables. Number seven. You shouldn't open a bottle of medicine by yourself. Number eight. I've got a cold. I need to buy some tissues. Track four point nine. Reading, activity one. Listen and read. Why do we sneeze? A chew. When you've got a cold, you often sneeze. Why? Because germs make a home in your nose and they tickle you. Sneezing is your body's way of sending germs out of your nose. Many animals sneeze too. What happens? Your nose doesn't like the germs, so it sends a message to a part of your brain. Called the sneeze center. The sneeze center sends a message to your muscles. Then all of your muscles push hard. Even your eyes push. That's why you close your eyes when you sneeze. You should have a tissue ready because the sneeze happens very quickly. A sneeze can travel as fast as a car. Some people sneeze when they haven't got a cold. It happens when they go out into the sunshine. They are called photic sneezers. Photic sneezing is an inherited trait. It comes from one of your parents. Do you know anyone who sneezes because of the sun? Unit five, track five point one, vocabulary one, activity one. Listen and read. Think about your favorite fairy tale. It's probably a wonderful story, but do you know where it came from? The first fairy tales were not written down. One person simply told a story to other people. Then they told it to others. In 1812, the talented brothers Jacob and Wilhelm Grimm wrote a book of old fairy tales. They called their book "Children's Tales." But some readers weren't happy. The stories were too scary for children. So, later on, the Grimm brothers wrote a different book. The stories were exciting, but not scary. It was very popular. After that, 
many other writers in different countries wrote fairy tales. In 1937, there was a film of the fairy tale Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Many people enjoyed it. Other films based on fairy tales followed. Famous actors said the characters' lines. Many of these films have got the same kinds of characters. Often, there's a princess and a prince. The princess is usually pretty, and the prince is usually handsome and brave. There's always a happy ending. But times have changed. Now authors are rewriting the traditional tales with a twist. The characters in these new stories surprise us. Maybe the princess isn't pretty, but she's clever, funny and cool. Is she looking for a prince? No, she wants to do amazing things. Perhaps she rides a motorbike, or maybe she's a great athlete. Both types of stories, traditional and modern, are great. Which do you prefer? Track 5.2 Activity 2 Listen and repeat Wonderful your photos from the museum are wonderful. A person. My grandpa is a really interesting person. Talented. Mozart was a talented composer. Popular. Harry Potter books are very popular. A film. I really liked that film. Famous. I want to be famous one day. An actor. He is a well known actor in Hollywood. Pretty. My sister is really pretty. Handsome. He's a very handsome man. Brave. Firefighters are very brave. Funny. That was a really funny story. Cool. This film is so cool. I love fairy tales. Amazing. J.K. Rowling writes amazing books. An athlete. Many athletes compete in the Olympic Games. Great. Picasso was a great painter. Track 5.3. Song. Activity 1. Listen, read and sing. How do I know what I want one day? How do I know what I'll be? Who can help me to find my way and show me how to be a better and wait Someday I dream of bands and fame in films and on TV I watch my favorite actors films I'll be just like them You'll see How do I know what I want one day How do I know what I'll be Who can help me to find my I'll go on adventure.
adventures for days and days. I read the most talented writers and dream about writing a book. I'll work very hard in school. Becoming a writer would be so good. How do I know what I want one day? How do I know what I'll be? Who can help me to find my way and show me how to be a better me? Track five point four, Grammar One, Superlatives with. EST and most. I think Serena Williams is the greatest tennis player ever. J.K. Rowling is the most talented writer I know. In your opinion, what's the funniest film of all? Track five point five. Vocabulary two, activity one, listen and repeat. A TV program. What's your favourite TV program? A hobby. I love reading books. It's my favourite hobby. A school subject. English is the best school subject. A sport. Tennis is a great sport. I play it every day. A writer. J.K. Rowling is a wonderful writer. Track five point six, grammar two. Irregular comparatives and superlatives. I'm good at music. I'm better than my friend at sports, and I'm the best in our class at English. A cough is bad. A cold is worse, but a temperature is the worst. Track five point seven. Reading. Activity one: Listen and read. Amazing acrobats. Many acts we see in circuses today have got their roots in ancient societies. Jugglers and acrobats were popular in ancient Egypt and China. Today, Chinese circuses are more popular, more colourful, and more exciting than ever. Most Chinese acrobats join the circus when they are six years old, and they can spend ten years practicing just one of these acts. A, juggling. Acrobats use their feet to juggle things. They juggle tables, chairs, umbrellas, plates, and even people. B, cycling. In this act, acrobats use unicycles, bicycles with one wheel. The most famous act is the bird. C, tightrope. This act is about two thousand years old. Brave acrobats walk, cycle, or jump on a wire that is high in the air. D, pole climbing. This act is about one thousand years old. Athletes climb up poles, jump from one pole to the other, and balance on the poles. E. Plate spinning. The acrobat holds a pole with a plate on it. The plates spin fast. The acrobat dances, jumps, or stands on one arm. Don't miss Chinese acrobats; they're the best. Unit six, track six point one, vocabulary one, activity one, listen 
and read. We use the sea for fun, for transport, and more importantly, we use the sea for food. We must stop pollution. We must protect the seas and oceans, or our resources will disappear. The seas and oceans are full of life. Most of the creatures we know stay near the top layer of the water, called the sunlight zone. In this zone, sunlight goes down to about 200 meters, 656 feet. The middle layer of the water is called the twilight zone. This is because there isn't much light. This zone goes down to about 1,000 meters, 3,300 feet. Many different types of fish live in this layer. Some of them look very strange. The mysterious bottom layer of water is almost completely black. The only light comes from the creatures who live here. It is called the midnight zone because sunlight doesn't reach below 1,000 meters, 3,300 feet. Some amazing creatures live in this deepest part of the sea. A whale, a squid, a dolphin, fish, a shark, a turtle, an octopus, sea sponges. Track 6.2 Activity 2 Listen and repeat. Pollution There is too much pollution in our seas. A resource We need to protect our resources. Disappear Animals and plants can disappear. A creature an octopus is a sea creature. A layer. Most fish live in the top layer of the water. A zone. The top layer is the sunlight zone. Sunlight. Plants need sunlight. Midnight. The midnight zone is very dark. A whale. The whale is the biggest sea creature. A squid. Are all squid red? A dolphin. Dolphins are very friendly. Fish. There are a lot of fish in the sunlight zone. A shark. I love sharks. They're so cool. A turtle. A turtle can swim fast. An octopus. An octopus has got eight arms. A sea sponge. Sea sponges are colourful. Track 6.3 Song Activity 1 Listen, read and sing. Make a better world for you and me. We must 
stop polluting the sea so blue An octopus would like that and so would you Please, please protect the sea Do what's good for you and me and help us save the sea We must protect the wonders of the sea To make up better world for you and me But our world is a part of them. Please, please protect the sea. Do what's good for you and me and help us save the sea. Please, please protect the sea. Do what's good for you and me and help us save the sea. Track 6.4 Grammar 1 Have to, must, can't and don't We have to keep the seas clean. You can't throw rubbish into the sea. We must protect the seas and oceans. Don't leave food on the beach. Track 6.5 Vocabulary 2 Activity 1 Listen and repeat Oil spill There was an oil spill near the beach, so we can't swim there now. Rubbish Don't throw rubbish into the sea. Overfishing we need to stop overfishing. Biodegradable Food is biodegradable. Plastic Don't throw plastic bags into the sea. Fish and birds can get hurt. Track 6.6 .6. Activity 2 Listen, talk and stick. Work with a partner. Number one. This happens when tankers have accidents at sea. Number two. This happens when fishermen catch too many fish. Number three. To keep the sea clean, if you see this on the beach, pick it up. Number four. You can make bottles with this material. It isn't biodegradable. Number five. Cardboard is biodegradable. It disappears over time. Track 6.7 Grammar 2 Future with will and won't What will happen in the future? Sea creatures and plants will disappear. We won't have as much food as we need. Track 6.8 Activity 2 Play a game Cut out seven pictures and the bingo card at the back of the book. Listen and play. Discuss. Turtles live in the sunlight zone. Food is biodegradable. Don't throw rubbish into the sea. We must protect the seas and oceans. 
Whales are very big sea creatures. The octopus has got eight arms. Sea sponges are very pretty. Look, this one is pink. There are lots of fish in the sunlight zone. Squid live in the twilight zone. Don't throw plastic bottles into the sea. Sharks live in the sunlight zone. What will happen to the seas and oceans in the future? What will we do to protect them? Track 6.9 Reading Activity 1 Listen and read Colourful corals A coral reef looks like a colourful underwater garden. But corals are not plants. Corals are made up of tiny creatures called polyps. Polyps have got soft, transparent bodies without bones. What's for dinner? Polyps have got a mouth, stomach and tentacles. Some polyps live in warm sunlight zones. In daylight, these polyps get food from tiny plants called algae. After dark, the polyps use their tentacles to catch food. Some corals can even catch fish. In contrast, polyps that live in cold, dark zones have to work harder because there isn't algae here. They have to use their tentacles to catch tiny creatures called plankton in the water. Underwater communities Most corals live together in huge groups called colonies. Some build a protective skeleton around themselves. Old generations die, and new ones grow on top, slowly building up coral reefs. Some are millions of years old. These beautiful reefs are home to more than 4,000 kinds of fish and thousands of other organisms. Save the reefs. Coral reefs provide food for communities. They are also a source of tourism and jobs for local people. Scientists use reef creatures to develop new medicines. But coral reefs are in danger from pollution. Coral reefs are disappearing. Some experts predict that only 10% of the world's coral will exist in the year 2050. We must protect our coral reefs now. Track 6.10 Review Units 4 to 6 Activity 1 Listen Weiwei is doing a survey. Write her questions in the table. Hey Jun and Ming. Can you help me please? I'm doing a survey. Of course. What's the first question? Um... What's the most amazing sea creature? Oh, the octopus. I think it's a really cool creature. What about you, Ming? What's the most amazing sea creature? The shark and the dolphin. You can't give me two answers, Ming. Just one, please. OK, then. The dolphin. OK. Question number two. Who's the most talented writer? Oh, that's easy. It's Jacqueline Wilson. I don't know her. How do you spell her name? It's J-A-C-Q-U-E-L-I-N-E. -E. And then her last name is Wilson. That's W-I-L-S-O-N. Thanks. And what about you, Ming? Who's the most talented writer? 
Bruce Covill. Next question. Who's the best athlete in the world? Hmm, that's difficult. I think it's LeBron James. OK, and how about you, Ming? Ah, no problem. The best athlete is tennis player Serena Williams. S-E-R-E-N-A and then W-I-L-L-I-A-M-S. OK, question number four. What's the easiest school subject? Maths. English. Oh, well, that was an easy question. OK, just one more. OK, last question. Have you ever broken an arm or a leg? I broke my arm once. It's the worst thing in the world. Well, I broke my leg. It's much worse than a broken arm because you can't walk. Track 6.11 Activity 2 Listen again. Write Jun and Ming's answers in the table. Hey Jun and Ming. Can you help me please? I'm doing a survey. Of course. What's the first question? Um, what's the most amazing sea creature? Oh, the octopus. I think it's a really cool creature. What about you, Ming? What's the most amazing sea creature? The shark and the dolphin. You can't give me two answers, Ming. Just one, please. OK, then. The dolphin. OK. Question number two. Who's the most talented writer? Oh, that's easy. It's Jacqueline Wilson. I don't know her. How do you spell her name? It's J-A-C-Q-U-E-L-I-N-E. -E. And then her last name is Wilson. That's W-I-L-S-O-N. Thanks. And what about you, Ming? Who's the most talented writer? Bruce Coville. Next question. Who's the best athlete in the world? Hmm, that's difficult. I think it's LeBron James. OK, and how about you, Ming? Ah, no problem. The best athlete is tennis player Serena Williams. S E R E N A and then W I L L I A M S. OK. Question number four. What's the easiest school subject? Maths. English. Oh, well, that was an easy question. OK. Just one more. OK. Last question. Have you ever broken an arm or a leg? I broke my arm once. It's the worst thing in the world. Well, I broke my leg. It's much worse than a broken arm because you can't walk. Track 6.12 Extended Reading Activity 1 Listen and Read Oceans of plastic. Time for action. Plastic is useful. It's in a lot of things we use every day. From clothes to pens and bottles to toys. But there's a problem. Most plastic is not biodegradable. And a lot of it ends up in the seas and oceans. How big is the problem? There are probably more than five trillion, that's five, zero, 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 bits of plastic in the world's seas and oceans. Every sea and ocean 
and every beach contains plastic, from large objects to tiny pieces called microplastics. Tons of plastic enters the seas and oceans every year. At this rate, by 2050, there will be more plastic than fish in the sea. How does plastic harm animals? Fish, turtles and birds think plastic is food and they eat it. The plastic stays in their stomachs. Dead seabirds are found with stomachs full of plastic. Whales, dolphins and seals get tangled up in plastic packaging or fishing nets. It's estimated that millions of sea creatures die each year because of plastic rubbish in seas and oceans around the world. Is there any good news? Yes. Scientists, schools, businesses and communities are taking action. Some countries have banned plastic bags. Scientists are developing new biodegradable plastics. Many communities are trying to use less plastic and recycle more. Young people are playing their part too. From Boyan Slat, 23, who is developing an ocean sweeping machine, to children around the world working to make their schools zero plastic. What can you do? Don't use plastic bags. Don't litter. Don't use plastic straws. Use a refillable water bottle. Don't buy plastic bottles. Recycle. One person can't solve the problem alone, but together we can make a difference. Tract 6.13 Let's talk. Units 4 to 6. Activity 1. Listen. And read. What's wrong? I feel ill. Oh no! What's the problem? I've got a stomach ache. Why don't you tell Dad? Yeah, that's a good idea. Dad! Track 6.14 Activity 3 Listen and read. Let's start the game. Hang on. I'm lost. How do we play? First, you have to spin the spinner. Then, you move your counter. Got it? Yes, I think so. Thanks. No problem. Track 6.15 Activity 4 Listen you will hear two discussions. Read each question and circle the answer. Number one. Hey, let's do the stickers. I'll go first. Wait, I don't understand. Look, you have to put the sticker under the word, like this. Got it? Oh, I see. Thanks. That's OK. Number two. Who goes first? Wait a minute. I don't get it. First, you cut out the pictures. Then you put them on the bingo board like this. OK? I think so. Thanks. No problem. Unit 7. Track 7.1. Vocabulary 1. Activity 1. Listen and read. Inventions are everywhere. Look around you. What inventions can you see? 
One of the first inventions was the wheel. More than 5,000 years ago, it was difficult to move things. People had to push or pull them along the ground. That was a problem. Then someone found a solution. The wheel. It changed our lives. Electricity is not an invention. It always existed in nature. In lightning, for example. But scientists discovered it and worked out how to use it. Inventors used imagination and creativity to make new inventions such as electric lights. When batteries were invented, electricity became even more useful. Now we can't imagine our lives without battery-powered inventions such as computers and mobile phones. Some inventions were invented too soon, years before they became really useful. One example is the windscreen wiper. On a snowy day in 1903, Mary Anderson was riding in a streetcar in New York. From time to time, the driver had to open his window to wipe the snow from the windscreen by hand. Back at home, Mary Anderson drew her idea for a windscreen wiper. She tried to sell her invention, but failed. People thought windscreen wipers could distract drivers and cause accidents. Air travel is used by millions of people today. However, there's some discussion about who flew first. The Wright brothers tried to fly many times. They finally succeeded in 1903. But others say Alberto Santos Dumont flew first. Santos Dumont made the world's first public flight in 1906 outside Paris. He flew his plane 220 metres. 722 feet. Track 7.2 Activity 2 Listen and repeat. An invention. The windscreen wiper was a useful invention. A wheel. Wheels are the most famous invention. A problem. I've got a problem. My invention isn't working. A solution. Do you know a good solution? Electricity. Did you know that electricity is not an invention? Imagination. My sister writes cool stories. She's got a lot of imagination. Creativity To invent things, you need creativity. A battery My mobile phone needs a new battery. Invent Who invented electric lights? Useful. Umbrellas are useful in the rain. An idea. That was a good idea. Try. What are you trying to do? Fail. I studied very hard, so I won't fail. Succeed. The Wright brothers succeeded in 1903. Track 7.3 Song Activity 1 Listen, read and sing. <laughs> Solve problems, problems that we used to have are gone. The wheel and the mobile phone 
help to make our world go round. Inventions are useful every day in every way. Computers, cars, and aeroplanes help to make our world go round. Creativity, electricity, creativity changes the world. You used to have to walk. To get from place to place. Years ago, you could only talk face to face. You could only get across the sea by boat. Now we fly across the sky. Inventions are the reason why. Creativity, electricity, creativity changes the world. Imagination and ideas can change the world every day. Can you solve a problem? Can you help our world today? Track 7.4 Grammar 1 Used to for past habits People used to travel across the sea in boats. We didn't used to have aeroplanes. Why did people used to read by candlelight? They didn't used to have electricity. Track 7.5 Vocabulary 2 Activity 1 Listen and repeat. Put Every morning I put my things in my backpack. Move Don't move. I'm taking a photo. Lift Lift your arms and shake your legs. Turn. The wheels on a car turn round and round. Use. How do you use that toy? Track 7.6 Activity 1 Complete. Then listen. And check your answers. The hula hoop is an old invention, but it's very popular today. It's fun and it's good exercise. Number one. How do you use a hula hoop? It's easy. Follow these instructions. Number two. Put the hula hoop on the ground. Stand in the middle. Number three. Lift the hula hoop to your waist. Number four. Move your waist in a circle. Don't hold the hula hoop. Number five. The hula hoop turns round and round. Can you feel it? Track 7.7 7. Activity 2 Listen and stick Put the stickers in order Then tell your partner how to use this toy What are you holding? Is it a new toy? No, it isn't It's old it used to be very popular. It moves down the stairs by itself. Cool. Show me how to use it. It's easy. You put the toy at the top of the stairs, like this. Does it go down the stairs now? No. You have to lift it at the back, like this. Then it turns over and over.
That's cool. Let's go and show the others. Track 7.8. Grammar 2. U for general statements. You need to have creativity to invent things. You should always try again if you fail. What do you do with this invention? Do you play with it? Track 7.9 Reading Activity 1 Listen and read Young and creative Did you know that a teenager had the first idea for a television? And a six-year-old boy invented the toy lorry. Young people are great inventors because they've got a lot of creativity and imagination. 2018 At the age of 19, Angar Dariani invented a solution to the problem of air pollution in cities. Growing up in Mumbai, India, he suffered from asthma caused by the polluted air. Air pollution is a big problem. Three million people die each year. Angad's invention is an air pollution cleaning tower that is 6.1 metres, 20 feet, high. The tower sucks in air and takes out the particles of dust and carbon. The particles are collected and can even be reused. Angad's dream is to build thousands of the towers and improve the quality of air in cities. 2013 Canadian high school student Anne Makasinski was 15 when she invented the hollow flashlight. The flashlight, or torch, uses heat from the human body and changes it into light. It doesn't need batteries. Anne thought of the idea when she heard about a friend who lived in the Philippines. Her friend was doing badly in school. She needed to do her homework at night, but there were no electric lights in her home. Anne's flashlight isn't expensive. Anne hopes it will help some of the 1.1 billion people in the world who still haven't got electricity in their homes. 1905. When Frank Epperson was 11, he left a cup filled with a fizzy drink and a stick in his garden. That night, he forgot about it. It was a very cold night. When he went outside the next morning, he found something amazing. An ice lolly. 1824. Louis Braille had an accident when he was three. The accident left him blind. At that time, it was hard for blind children to read. They had to touch raised letters. But it was easy to confuse a Q with an O, an R with a B, and so on. When he was 15, Louis invented an alphabet that used raised dots. The Braille alphabet was a big success. Unit 8 Track 8.1 Vocabulary 1 Activity 1 Listen and read. Most people have got a hobby. Some children collect things, play in a music group, or grow vegetables. Creative people often paint or take photos. Computer games are popular too. What hobbies do you enjoy? Many computer games are for one person. You play alone. But it's more fun to play with a friend. Choose your avatars. Then compete. To win the game, you must get lots of points. The person with the highest score wins. 
In other computer games, you play together with a friend. You don't compete, you cooperate. When you use the controller, you can see your avatars move on the screen. Track 8.2 Activity 2 Listen and say Collect What do you collect? A music group Do you play in a music group? Creative Many creative people like to take photos and draw. Take photos I love taking photos of animals. Enjoy Do you enjoy playing computer games? Alone I like playing computer games alone. An avatar Can I see your avatar? Compete Do you like competing? A point I've got seven points already. Score What's the score? Together Let's play my new computer game together. Cooperate I like cooperating. It's more fun playing with a friend. A controller There are three controllers in this game. A screen Look at the screen. Track 8.3 Song Activity 1 Listen, read and sing. What's your hobby? What do you like doing? What's your hobby? I've got a hobby too. The boy who gets the highest score Wins the computer game The girl who collects fossils Wants to learn their names Who enjoys reading comics Who likes competing I collect soft toys Because I think they're sweet What's your hobby? What do you like doing? What's your hobby? I've got a hobby too The boy who takes photos Sees them on the screen The girl who reads about dinosaurs Can see them in her dreams do you like cooperating or do you like working alone? I like talking about my hobby on my new mobile phone. It's fun being creative and showing what you can do. Collecting, competing, cooperating. I've got a hobby. Have you? What's your hobby? What do you like doing? What's your hobby? I've got a hobby too. Track 8.4 Grammar 1 Describing people with who The person who has got the highest score wins the game. I know a boy who collects film posters. We've got three cousins who play in a music group together. Track 8.5 Vocabulary 2 
Activity one. Listen and repeat. A comic. A boy in my class collects comics. An insect. Some people are scared of insects, but I love them. A dinosaur. I think that dinosaurs are really interesting. A fossil. My brother collects old fossils. A soft toy. My mum gave me a soft toy for my birthday. Track eight point six, grammar two. Direct and indirect objects. Show the comic to James. Show James the comic. My dad gave this fossil to me. My dad gave me this fossil. My mum bought soft toys for them. My mum bought them soft toys. Track eight point seven, reading, activity one, listen and read. Hide and seek. Geocaching is a fun outdoor hobby. It's like a game of hide and seek, with the hiders leaving clues for the seekers to find. Here's how it works: the hiders hide a box or cache. Inside the box, they put some treasure, small objects for you to find, and a notebook. If you want to be a seeker or geocacher, you use an app that tells you where there are caches near you. Then you look for the cache. To help you find it, you need to have your smartphone with online clues, or a map and compass. You should also take a pen or pencil and some treasure to leave for other people. When you find the cache, you look for the notebook inside. Then you write your name and the date. Then you look at the treasure in the box and choose something you want to take away with you. You might choose a small toy, an ornament, or a little book. Don't forget to leave another treasure in its place. Geocaching is a great way to explore new places and make new friends. Many geocachers also help to clean up the places they visit by picking up rubbish they see along the way. One geocacher says it's a great hobby because it gets the whole family outside and doing something fun together. I love it. Unit nine, track nine point one, vocabulary one, activity one, listen and read. We use force to move. Force happens when we push or pull. Do you push or pull when you move on a swing? You do both. Look at this skier. To move, a skier pushes on the snow. A push can move a skier forwards. It can also move a skier backwards. Skaters pull too. Look at these skaters. The more one skater pulls, the more they spin. The skaters don't fall over because they know how to balance. How do skaters stop? They use force. Skaters push down hard on their skates. The skates connect with the ice. The ice and skates rub together. When two things rub together, it's called friction.
Track 9.2. Activity 2. Listen and repeat. A force. A force can push or pull. Happen. What happens when skaters stop? Push. To close the door, push it. Pull. To open the door, pull it. A swing. My brother is playing on the swings. Forwards. The car moves forwards. Backwards. On the swings, I move backwards and forwards. A skater. Look at those skaters. They're wonderful. Spin. Can you stand on one leg and spin in a circle? Fall over. I often fall over and get bruises. Balance. I can't balance very well when I skate. Down. To move, push down on the ice. Connect. Skates connect with the ice. Rub. It's cold. Rub your hands together. Friction. Friction happens when two things rub together. Track 9.3. Song. Activity 1. Listen, read and sing. Push it, pull it, push it, pull it, push, pull, push, pull, push, pull, watch it go. If you spin round and round and round and round, a force is what you feel. If you fall down, 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 down to the ground, that's gravity, of course. I have to move. Track 9.4 Grammar 1 Cause and effect with double comparatives The more one skater pulls, the more the other one spins. The more you push the swing, the faster it goes. The more you practice, 
The faster you run. Track 9.5. Vocabulary 2. Activity 1. Listen and repeat. Away from. The boy is riding his bike away from the others. Lean. Don't lean on the table. It might break. Direction. The boy and the girl are running in the same direction. Towards. The girl is running towards the finish line. Gravity. Gravity pulls you towards the earth. Track 9.6 Activity 2 Listen and stick. Work with a partner. Compare your answers. Pedro loves riding his bicycle. But his friends want to go on the swings. He decides to leave his friends and ride his bike. He gets on his bicycle and rides the playground. He knows there is a bike path near the lake. When he gets there, he needs to decide right or left. What does he want to go? He goes right. The path is not straight. It goes up and down, left and right. When he gets to the top, he starts going quickly down the hill. He has to left to turn to the left. And that's when he sees that a big tree is in the middle of the path and he is riding the tree. Oh no! He has to think quickly. He doesn't want to break and just fly over the bicycle. Then he sees lots of dry leaves on the side of the path. What does Pedro do? He breaks just a little and he lets pull him down onto the bed of leaves. It's a good thing he always wears a helmet. Track 9.7 Grammar 2 Definitions with which Gravity is a force which pulls you towards the earth. Skates are special shoes which you wear when you go ice skating. Track 9.8 Reading Activity 1 Listen and read. Up, down and all around. You are going on a roller coaster ride. Sit in the car and pull down the safety bar. Are you ready? Let's go. First, you go up a steep hill. The roller coaster goes slowly. Next, gravity pulls you down the hill. The roller coaster moves quickly. You feel very light. A big circle, known as the loop the loop, is many people's favourite. When you go quickly up the circle, you feel heavy. Gravity is pulling you down. When you reach the top, you are high in the sky and you're hanging upside down. So why don't you fall out of your seat? Your body wants to fly off, but the speed of the car and a force called centripetal force keep you moving in a circle and keep you in your seat. The roller coaster uses friction to stop. If it stops quickly, your body wants to continue moving. 
That is called inertia. But the safety bars keep you in place. Not everyone loves roller coasters. They make some people feel dizzy or sick because the forces change. In fact, we experience forces like friction, centripetal force, and gravity every day. For example, you feel gravity when you jump with your bike and come down. You feel centripetal force when you turn, and you feel friction when you use the brakes to stop the bike. How do you want to experience the forces? Do you want to ride your bicycle or a roller coaster? Track 9.9 Review Unit 7 to 9 Activity 1 Listen. Tick the inventions you hear. Welcome, everyone, to the last part of our school competition. This section is all about inventions. Let's welcome back Anya and Ben, who have both got a score of 24 points. Are you both ready? Yes. Ready. OK, let's begin. Question number one. When did we invent the wheel? Um, was it about 5,000 years ago? Correct. That's one point to Anya. You've now got a total of 25 points. Now, for question number two. Who first had the idea for windscreen wipers? Uh. Mary Anderson had the idea. Correct. One point to Ben. It's a tie again. And now for the last question. When did the Wright brothers fly an aeroplane for the first time? Uh... Anya, you were first. Go ahead. The Wright brothers succeeded in 1903. Yes, that's correct. And Anya wins the competition with 26 points. Thank you, Ben, for taking part. And well done, Anya. You'll compete against another school next month. Track 9.10 Activity 2 Listen again. Answer the questions. Welcome, everyone, to the last part of our school competition. This section is all about inventions. Let's welcome back Anya and Ben, who have both got a score of 24 points. Are you both ready? Yes. Ready. OK, let's begin. Question number one. When did we invent the wheel? Um, was it about 5,000 years ago? Correct. That's one point to Anya. You've now got a total of 25 points. Now, for question number two. Who first had the idea for windscreen wipers? Mary Anderson had the idea. Correct. One point to Ben. It's a tie again. And now for the last question. When did the Wright brothers fly an aeroplane for the first time? Uh... Anya, you were first. Go ahead. The Wright brothers succeeded in 1903. Yes, that's correct. And Anya wins the competition with 26 points. Thank you, Ben, for taking part. And well done, Anya. You'll compete against another school next month. Track 9.11 Extended Reading Activity 1 Listen and read Leonardo da Vinci The Greatest Inventor in History? The story is often told of how Leonardo da Vinci 
used to go to his local market to buy birds in cages. Others bought the birds to kill and eat them, or keep them as pets. But Leonardo, to everyone's surprise, bought the birds to release them from their cages and let them fly away. Leonardo's kindness to animals is well known. He was a vegetarian. But more than this, he was fascinated by the flight of birds. Before releasing the birds, he studied their wing shape, structure and movement. He made detailed drawings of birds' wings. Most of all, he had a dream. To design a machine that would let human beings fly like birds. One of Leonardo's designs for a flying machine showed an enormous pair of wings joined to a wooden frame. According to the drawings, the brave pilot would lie inside the frame and move the wings up and down. Leonardo also drew a design for a glider. This was much simpler, and people have recently built and successfully flown it, with one small change to the original design. Other flight-related designs by Leonardo were for a helicopter and a parachute. Leonardo was so many things, artist, musician, architect, engineer, scientist, and inventor. Today, he is usually best known for his art, including two of the most famous paintings in the world, Mona Lisa and The Last Supper. However, centuries ahead of his time, he imagined and designed a huge range of inventions. Surely he must count as one of the greatest inventors ever. Track 9.12 Let's talk. Unit 7 to 9. Activity 1. Listen and read. What's your favourite sport? Football. I want to be a professional football player. Do you? Yeah. What about you? What's your favourite sport? I love football too. My dad is taking me to the World Cup. Wow, that's so cool. Track 9.13 Activity 3 Listen and read Hey Martina, what does this word mean? I don't know. I think it's a kind of invention. Um, I don't think so. Why don't you ask the teacher? That's a good idea. Excuse me, Mr. Beager. What does this word mean? Track 9.14 Activity 4 Listen. You will hear two discussions. Read each question and circle the answer. Number 1 Saeed, how do you spell creativity? I'm not sure. You should ask the teacher. OK. Excuse me, Mr Haddad. How do you spell creativity? Number 2 Hey Aisha, how do you say halawa in English? I think it's dessert. But I'm not sure. Um, I don't think so. Why don't we ask the teacher? OK. Excuse me, Mr Gonzalez. What does halawa mean in English? Track 10.1 This is our world Everybody's got a song to sing 
is our world. I say our, you say world. Our, world, our, world. I say boy, you say girl. Boy, girl, boy, girl. I say everybody move. I say everybody stop. 